For all you parents out there, it is that time of year where some of you are preparing to send your kids off to overnight camp, maybe for the first time. And as exciting as that is, the thought of sleepover camp can be pretty overwhelming for parents and kids. So here with some helpful tips to make the transition a smooth one. Sleep expert Alana McGinn is here from goodnightsleepsite.com. Welcome back, Alana. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, this is a big thing to start with. So why don't we start with the right age? How do you know what's the age that your child can maybe handle that first sleepover? You know, it depends on the child. So parents should be looking at the personality of their child, of the children's maturity level. A lot of camp, camp counselors say a popular age is maybe nine or 10 years old. Boys might need that extra year to gain that extra kind of maturity level. Um, but some camps start kids as young as three or four years old. Really? So, yeah, you know, that's more of a three-day camp, maybe uh -huh. like a, an overnight mini camp. Okay. Um, but it really depends on the child. Are there any markers that parents should be looking for that are really clear indicators? Yeah, they're ready. Well, the first thing I always say is ask them, right? Get them involved. Do they want to go to sleep away camp? So don't just do it because your friend's child's doing it, right? Uh -huh. And then get them involved in the process. A lot of camps have open houses that you can attend. Get them on the website, checking out the brochures. So make them involved. And then give them a test run. I always say sleep away camp, it, this isn't like the first time your child should sleep away from home, right? So have they slept at grandma and grandpa's house or maybe ah. their aunt's and uncle's house? How have they been overnight without you? Have you put them into a day camp? So how do they interact with the other campers? How do they interact with the counselors? That will give you kind of clear signs on if they're ready for it. All right, so now you've decided, all right, maybe we're gonna do this, but you know that your child might be a bit of a problem sleeper. So maybe they've got wetting the bed issues yeah. or maybe they're a child that gets up a lot right. during the night. So what is your um, advice there? So for bedwetters, you know, I always tell parents, it's, it's actually more common than you think. 5% of school-aged children are still wetting their bed. So chances are the camps are prepared for this because it's not just your child that may have that accident. So check in with the camp, check in with the counselor. What's the game plan? Have your child, it's the discreet thing, right? They don't want the other campers to know if they have the accident. So, you know, what happens if they do have an accident? What's the protocol? What's the plan? Um, what should parents pack? So things like pull-ups you know, extra bedding, plastic sheets, that type of thing. Mm. If it's where your child, you're worried that your child won't feel comfortable sleeping or might have some difficulty sleeping mm -hmm. away from home, pack some familiar items like their favorite stuffed animal or favorite book, their favorite blanket or pillow. And then parents can kind of pack those secret items in their suitcases like photos or secret bedtime notes, you know, to kind of help curb that homesickness at night that their child might be feeling. Okay, so now you're thinking, okay, they're going to go to sleep away camp, but how do you ensure that they're gonna actually get the sleep they need to be happy, healthy, have a good time. I think it's important to know that chances are no matter what you do, your child's just not gonna sleep as well when they're at sleep away camp, right? They're gonna be going to bed, they're gonna be having fun, they're gonna be waking up early, it's a strange environment. So always start them off well rested. So have them go to the camp without that accumulated sleep debt. We all transition easier to change, when we're well, well rested. So yeah. start them off right. Um, and then also factor in your child. So this is again where you're opening that communication up with the camp. Is your child more sleep sensitive to routines? Are they maybe a little bit more of an introvert? Do they need that quiet time at bedtime where it can't be go, go, go every single mm -hmm. night? And allow your child to know, you know what, it's okay to step away and to have that alone time provided the counselor knows, provided it's okay, um, just to give you that time to kind of you know, bring it down a little bit. Okay, so we'll hop now to teens. Yes. And so now the te this is a situation where maybe parents are like, how can I control that right. in my teen's life? But we know teens need a lot of sleep. So That's how do you right. ensure they're gonna get it if they're not with you? Well, the big thing is tech. Right, and a lot of uh, a lot of camps have uh, you know cell phones, tech, tech devices on their what not to bring list. So oh. make sure that you're checking with that with the policies of the camp, um, and then you know just tell your teens you know camp is the time for writing letters. Um, camps is the time you know uh, camps will organize phone calls between parent and and child if need be. Parents are concerned they want to check in on their child. You know, they can log into online photo albums um, to see what's going on throughout the day. Um, and then just let the, the, the teen know, you know, camp is a time to kind of step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Meet new people, try new things, protect the sleep as much as you can, but you can't really control that. I mean, isn't, you know, just the late nights part of the fun? It's exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and learn how to cohabitate too, right? And that applies to any age. So when their environment is, is conducive to sleep, they might be able to sleep a little bit better. Okay, food for thought as exactly, I think a lot of parents are in this position yes. right now. We really appreciate the tips, Helena. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so, so much.